125 pound fighters. First, Friday, out of the Farmer's Insurance Red Corner, the Factory X Movie Time. Jake Mendez faces off against Randy Rowland in this 145 pound professional fight. Mr. Mendez wearing the white and red gloves and uh, white trunks face, or excuse me, represents Trials MMA and Mr. Rowland wearing the black and white trunks represents Factory X. And Ron, word has it these two were a little bit chippy at weigh-ins, and Roland, however, comes out here just nothing but smiles. To say the least, they don't like each other. This is a uh, this is a match that's uh, long overdue. Of course, both of these guys have some history with each other, and again, you know, we're talking about two guys that are very, you know, coming around and. and and really developing experience in their fight game. I mean, you're looking at Randy Roland. This is his 16th fight here, and uh, that's a lot of fights. It's for a you. lot of fights, you know. And and look, you know, Jake the Snake is no different. I mean, this is his eighth fight here now. So you know, you're looking at two guys that have been around the cage. And uh, Mendez, what what timing on that takedown? Because the speed of Roland is no joke, and he was just just exceptional with that. You know, and that's really one of the um, one of the main foundations of Trials Mixed Martial Arts is that their ability to wrestle and, and strike effectively together in that combination has really made them what they are. And Roland able to get the turn off the cage, much to the delight of the Factory X fans here, but Mendez quickly swiveling the hips and getting the armbar into position. Roland going to try to stack him down here. And then looking to transition off to the triangle. Let's see if uh, Roland is able to escape here. This is not a good spot for Randy Roland. No, he's in there very, very tight. He has his right arm through. Mendez is doing a nice job. And Mendez, yeah. I was going to say, let's see if he transitions off to the armbar again, and he does. So back oh. and forth by the trials fighter, and that's tight. Strength by Roland here, Look and Mendez, good job Roland. getting his feet underneath him. Look at Randy Roland really staying calm in a, in a hellacious position. Really does an outstanding job of evading being finished early in this fight, which I know would have been really foundationally a killer for Randy Rowan and now he's looking to what has he got a gator roll going he does and that's in very very tight for Rowan see if he's able to roll through here wants to try to roll Mendez over and then circle around see if he can close this off uh -huh. and he has it's it's uh, almost an inverted head and arm choke but Mendez able to remain calm pops his head free and goes a shoulder pressure of his own from the top yeah and that again this is exactly what we were referencing earlier this is exactly the kind of experience level both these guys don't panic anymore in bad spots you're seeing that that evolution of both their fight games right now in this match and the corner of Mendez calling for elbows from this position and that's a great call from the, for, for Mendez because he's heavy in that top position right now and Randy Rollins not looking to buck him out. So elbows from the top, raining down is, is definitely a great call from Ryan Schultz and the guys over at Trials. Good job by Rollins getting onto a hip, pulling that leg through full guard. Now this opens up his chance at some submission attempts off of his back. Rolling, staying calm, though, in that bottom position. And like you said, Ron, that just speaks to his experience. Yeah. You know, again, they're both coming from fantastic camps, too. Fantastic coaches and teachers that they have, really, to kind of guide them through the difficult times in the fight. You're seeing that right now. And the training partners that will put them through Absolutely. wars in a gym. Absolutely. Just, you know, no such thing as an easy day for either one of these guys, and that pays off here. Couldn't have said it better. Absolutely right. Mendez doing a really nice job of controlling this first round. Roland open guard, but he has his legs down low on the 
around the calves and the thighs of Mendez, keeping him from being able to pass. And Roland trying to go with a little grapevine action off the bottom. I'd like to. Oh, and, and now Roland goes for the arm bar. So both these guys showing their ground game, their positional awareness. And uh, Mendez says, hey, you did it to me. Let me answer back with some of the same. And again, you know, we, we, we just talked about this before. Both guys staying very, very calm in really pre precarious spots right now. Roland going to try to curl his thighs here. Nope. Uh, Mendez able to push that leg off. And so both these guys showing nice positional work, nice submission awareness. Ten-second clacker sounded. Mendez going to try to scramble here, finish in the eyes of the judges in what would be considered an advantageous position. Great first round. Round two in this 145 pound professional fight. Three five minute rounds. You can knee to the head of an opponent while you're standing and on the ground you can use the point of the elbow to strike with. Those are the differences between elimination and professional in Colorado. JR, what are you telling Randy Rowland if you're in his corner coming out for the second round which clearly the first round did not, was not in his favor? Try to pick up the pace just a little bit. Even though you know Mendez is well conditioned enough to try to stay with that pace, you don't want to get into a slower and methodical fight. And then how about for Mendez? Continue to try to put this on the ground and work those submissions. Agreed. Um, as well as trying to maintain that positional dominance. 100% agreed. There it is from the maestro, <laughs> J.R. Gordon. And if you want to catch up to date real time results, don't forget to go to MMA Buzz on Facebook and check out their results page. Best in the land, without a doubt. Thank you, sir. You're and welcome. Roland working on a Kimura here. Mendez trying to clasp his hand so that he can affect this takedown. So uh, each, each trying to implement their own game plan here, and we're just going to kind of have to see how this plays out. They're over in the corner of Roland yep. where he can take instructions. And with Mendez about three-quarters on his back, it's always nice to have some extra sets of eyes on the fight. You know, and again, we're, we're really looking at two patient technical fighters right now executing a very um, guarded game. You know, we're not seeing these guys open up just yet because they each realize how dangerous the other is. I, I expect if this second round becomes a very uh, technical and type of even type of round, expect the third round to be an absolute screamer. Yeah, absolutely agreed because they're each going to know that they're going to have to try to come out to finish. And Mendez tried to go for the takedown and then get a roll as it hit the mat. Roland ready for that. <clears throat> Based out, stop the roll, but Mendez able to climb up on top here. And again, really nice positional work being executed right now by Jake Mendez. And he's, he's really, you know, he's really imposing his will in this fight on, on Randy Rowland right now. Mendez trying to thread that arm through. The chin is tucked for Rowland, so only a little bit of a jaw crank right now. Well, I don't want to say a little bit. You know, easy for me to say yeah. from behind this side of the cage, but uh oh, uh, Mendez trying to work his way to back control here and see if he can get that right hook in, shut down some of the hip mobility, and instead he's going to go for the body triangle shut down some of that hip mobility of Roland so that he can spend a little more time focusing on trying to close off that choke. But again, a really nice job of Randy Roland staying calm in there as he's being, as, as Mendez is trying to choke him, and really nice job of 
the patience of Jake Mendez, not giving up the position and really looking to to capitalize on an opportunity here as this round uh, continues. And Roland doing a good job unentwining his legs there. Um, again, he's just trying to free up his hip mobility, see if he can turn in. With Mendez having his back to the mat, this is the chance that Roland wants in order to try to turn his shoulders in. But Mendez doing a good job controlling with those hooks. And that's really, I mean, that's classic textbook jiu-jitsu, using those feet and those heels and those calves to control your opponent's yep. mobility. Yep. And now trying to climb on top is Mendez. And that might be tight. And Mendez in a nice spot here in that he can try to climb on top or he can maintain back control. And basically he lets Roland dictate what he's going to do. But Roland one more time using that cage. And Mendez one more time throwing those legs up, going for the armbar. Roland just going to try to stack him down here, see if he can't clip some elbows across the brow. You know, and I'm surprised Randy's not throwing those elbows right now because he's got that available. To there we go. Okay. Yep, there it was. He, he wants to make sure that he doesn't lose control of that grip on the bicep. Otherwise, that's going to give Mendez a chance to straighten that arm. But Roland now pulls it out, knowing that he's going to be able to scoot over to side control, maybe transition to mount. And Randy Rollins going to really have to open up in the third round and take some chances. This, this fight has been predominantly spent on the ground, and Randy Rowland is going to look to strike in this third and final round that's coming up. But as of right now, he's almost looking to set up a Kimura here. Yeah, going for the Kimura. Has the arms threaded. Going to try to pass that wrist through. See if he can start torquing that shoulder. Gives up on the wrist position in order to punch his opponent. Never a bad option in the fight. Never. And going back to that, and now trying to step over, control the head. And Roland going to work on that arm, and then back to the striking. Nice job by the Factory X fighter here late in round two, but I think we're going to a third. Really nice job of finishing strong in the second round for Randy Roland. Third and final round just about to begin here as we've got this pro 145 pound bout between Jake the Snake Mendez coming out of Trials Martial Arts and Randy Rowland coming out of Factory X. This has been a very technical bout so far in the first two rounds. I got to tell you, uh, JR, I got to give it to, to Mendez so far. Yeah, just the amount of time that he has controlled the fight. And Mendez, one more time, trying to take it to the mat where he's had good control. Eats a knee in order to get it there. And Roland now working from the top. You talked about how Roland was going to have to come out hard and fast in round number three. And he's doing exactly that. More of a flurry with the ground and pound here. Less of a measured pace than we saw in rounds one and two. And, you know, you're also coming from a very educated corner in the corner of Factory X. And they're going to realize that sometimes the judges don't know what they might be looking at. And they might see somebody that's in a top position as dominating the fight. For Randy Rowan, I, I, I think it's safe to say he's going to need a finish. And looking to step over the back. Let's see if he brings the right leg through in order to try for an armbar here. Rowan been hunting a Kimura all fight long, both standing and on the ground. So maybe a pet technique of his. But doing a great job with controlling the action here in round one. And here's his chance at the arm bar. He's going to try to use his left leg in order to push Mendez over the top, force him to roll. Mendez aware of that, not letting it happen. Roland still in a position, well, I was going to say still in a position to try to crank the arm. Mendez showing his strength and now going for the pickup and dump. And Mendez gets it. And corner of Roland saying, get up right now. 
And that's exactly what he needs to do. He needs to stand up immediately, get off the cage, circle off the cage, and he's going to have to literally throw fire with kicks and punches, enough to stun and hurt Mendez to get him to finish him. And Mendez continues to control the hips, has his hands clasped. Oh, and a beautiful job with the pickup on the knee scoop by Roland. And this is it. This is where Randy Rowland has to make his money right now. Rowland trying to underhook with his right arm, see if he can turn Mendez over. Mendez doing a great job with his knees on the base, prevents that from happening, makes Rowland have to skip over to the side. And that basically makes Rowland have an attack from only one side, so good job by Mendez. And Randy Rowland had some really good success at the end of the, of the second round right there with those sharp elbows. They actually lumped up Jake the Snake. So look for Randy Rowan to continue with those hard elbows right there to the side of the head. And just as you say that, Mendez puts his head over on the other side to avoid those. <laughs> Roland tried to go for the Kimura, almost had it up over the head. And now going to the Muay Thai work is Roland and stabs Mendez with a couple of sharp knees. Trying to go to the head, looking to affect the knockout here is Roland. Then he goes back to the elbows. Good job with the punches. Oh! Roland to stagger Mendez, and that's it. Congratulations to the Factory X fighter. I think it's going to be ruled a knockout. Wow. Congratulations, first pro victory. 